With hunting season soon approaching, the boys and I took off to Simmons Sporting Goods in Bastrop, Louisiana. If you've never been to Simmons Sporting Goods, it's an incredible store with incredible people that are willing to help. And in this video, I hope you realize how easy it is to get a bow and get it set up there. The store's got everything from Drake, Sitka, Banded, to e-bikes, to those Stanley Cups that your wife talks about all the time. If you know, you know. Their ammo, gun, and archery department, it's unreal, it's unmatched. It's the best in Louisiana, best in the country. And then, if you go upstairs, they have their own restaurant. I mean, it's, it's unreal. So, enjoy this video of the unboxing of my new Bear Adapt. Twenty-three. Yeah, average. Just say average. Yeah. That's what I mean. Sixty-eight So I see people now that are like only making strings, like there's certain companies, like there's like Swamp Donkey strings or something. So are they that much better? Not Swamp Donkey, but like are the aftermarket strings that much better than what comes on the low stock? Um, most stock strings are pretty good. Yeah. I mean like um, America's Best, ABB okay. is a, a really big string manufacturer. Gas is probably one of the most popular, most everybody's heard of gas. Uh, we've actually just switched over to a new string builder. Uh, it's called Threads, T-H-R-E-A-D-Z. Uh, Jerry Carter's guy's name, Kentucky, Southern Kentucky. Uh, man, they build a really good string. Problem right now is everybody's coming in wanting new strings. Uh, and we're you know a month out from right. from season, and strings are about like a gas string is anywhere from uh, five to six weeks right now. So if I ordered it today, it'd be almost five weeks before it hit here. America's best, same thing. Any you know you know reputable string builder is going to be Take a while. five weeks out right now, and so most guys don't even think about it till now. They get their bow out and they look and they're like, oh crap, man, I need a new string. They walk in here and like, hey man, can you put a string on? Like, I can order one because there's no way I can stock, right. you know, all those different strings. Right. Um, but as far as quality, I mean, um, manufactured strings are a lot of them are built by these, you know, these specialty string builders, and um, they just don't have the branding on them. So, um, you know, Bear really has good, you know, good stuff. I mean, of course, Matthews they've got zebra strings. Um, you know, a lot of them uh, build their own strings, but you know, I mean. They're good quality shoes. That's that's what I was wondering. So like this this price, or this bow is at a good price point. So I figure they probably manufacture a lot of things on there. Yeah, or they may have somebody. You know, I mean, they they probably got a string builder, maybe a local string builder that's close to the manufacturer that's building their strings for them, and that's all they do is build strings for you know for Fred Bear. Um, you know. Um, I don't think I don't think you you know you can go wrong. I mean, yeah. It's not something you just gotta have. Especially no, well, this is the deal. So the you can probably shoot this. I mean, depending on how many times you shoot it. And strings are, I tell people, strings are kind of like tires. So you buy a set of tires and it's sixty thousand mile tires. If you rotate them when you're supposed to, if you keep proper air pressure in them, you're probably gonna get sixty thousand miles out of them. Yeah. Um, if you take care of this string, if you wax it, I mean, uh, if it gets wet, if you dry it off. I mean, if you do everything, you keep it in a climate controlled environment. It's gonna last you. You know. A couple, you know, a thousand shots, maybe, maybe more, but most people are not going to shoot that much. Uh, most people, if they shoot 200 times a year, that's, that's a lot. I mean, most guys, they break it out. Uh, we're seeing, though, a lot of guys now are shooting year-round. So those guys end up putting one to two D-loops a year, 
and probably at least one string. So depends on you know how you take care of how much you shoot. I mean, you're a teacher, so physics says that emotion at rest will remain at rest until a greater or equal or greater. Right. So that whenever you, that's right. So whenever you add more weight to the front of that area, uh, you're weakening the area. So uh, you have to stiffen the spine. So if you're going to go heavy, heavy, um, you know, like normally a 70 pound bow, 29 inch draw, you're going to shoot either a 350 or maybe even a 300 spine, uh, depending on your draw. Drawing. But if you decided you want to add some forward weight, that's a big thing, FOC, front of center weight to add uh, some, you know, accuracy, then you need to think about your spine also because you're weakening the spine. So if you add uh, 100 grain insert, uh, then you're probably going to go to like a 250 spine. Uh, what, I mean, whatever you think is best. First off, I teach PE, so all that stuff went right up. <laughs> Practice to already on. 63 pounds right there. So, you can, uh, you know, try that and see, see what that yeah, feels like. Put it, I'll put it opposite. I hope you can't pull it back. Why do you hope that? Why do you, why are you bring on my downfall? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so you go to wherever you normally anchor. Most people, well, so this. This knuckle right under yeah. your earlobe, right here on the on the jaw. Yeah. Yep, pretty close right there. Nose just barely touching the string on the tip tip of your nose on the string. So up a little bit, head up just right there. So that peep's gonna have to come way up. Is that? Do you feel overextended or is that a little short? I feel like it's a little short. It's a little Honestly, short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes me feel good about myself. I didn't know if that was. He was lying and actually says 20. Okay, no, the 63 is fine. Okay. 63 pounds. Tell Justin. 63 pounds. The peak to you. So it needs to come way up. What I want you to do is so we'll put it there at 20. Draw it back. And make sure so once the side has it centered. All right. And the 75 grain, so you're 375, so you're 475, which is. I mean, that's, that's kind of heavy. Yeah. Um, 63 pounds, 27 inch draw. Off of that boat? Yeah. I would do, I'd cut the middle and I'd do 450. Cause Four. then. That's a really good weight. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, it's 20 grams less than what I shoot. It's 20 grams more than he shoots and 20 more than he shoots. Yeah. And you'd be right in the middle. And a good fixed head, there's nothing in North America you wouldn't be able to kill with a good shot placement. Sounds good to me. All right, let's see. I can be talked in anything. They're probably, they're probably not going to think that was the first shot. Yeah. <laughs> so any one of those black dots, we want to shoot anywhere but the center. Anywhere but the center? Yeah, see if you can get field logic to send us a new block target. Yeah. <laughs> we shot the center. Uh, shot the center out of that. Uh, we'll go bottom. Any guesses on... Uh, <laughs> so, um, 20... 7 inch draw, 450 grains, uh, 63 pounds. Uh, what's your guess? 265. 265. 265, what do you guess? I'll go 260. What you got? 250. 250. 249. Is it like prices right? Yeah, is it like prices right? I'm going to go $1. $1. $1. <laughs>
262. 262 says the goat. 241. So you're saying I'm the closest? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm saying this. Which is funny because I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> What's an IBO? So IBO is how speeds are rated on different bows. So it's a certain arrow through a certain chronograph through a certain day. Um, it's a 30 inch draw, 350 grain arrow at 70 pounds. And then there is a little fudge room on that. It's kind of annoying because you'll get bows coming in and be like, okay, it's this chron it'll chronograph at this speed, and then you've actually put a good hunting weight arrow on it, and then a realistic draw, like uh, 27 to 28 is probably the average. You get that going, and then it's something completely different, which is super annoying um, for us because we have this idea of, okay, this, should, this system should shoot X amount of feet per second, and then we'll get you know, someone who flies on it, or you know, maybe it wasn't right at 70, maybe like 73, 75, and then it's, it, gets, it gets annoying. Just. That's exactly how I would have explained it. Marketing. I, I was just marketing. about to it's marketing. Marketing. Yeah, it is marketing. So basically, I mean, most, most bows, like uh, the flagship bows for uh, Matthews, Oh, we're going to be somewhere around 340, 3, 344, 345 you know, last year. Realistically, how many people leave the shop shooting 340 feet per second? Zero. I can, count on, I can count on one hand how many times I've seen 340 on a chronograph. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't happen. Unless you're Chris B and you, right. you do some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. 90 right. yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't, it doesn't happen. More times than not, I mean, 260 to 290 is a good, a good answer. Or 241. Or 241. 241 if you're me. If you're five, eight. Well, jacked. There you go. All right, Tom. Sweet. You satisfied? Yes, sir. I Feel good about it? Try. Heck yeah. I'm All fired right. up about it, man. I, uh, I mean, I felt kind of nervous buying one that I never touched before. Hey, that's shot fine and affordable is the main thing. Make sure you get that on camera from my wife. Sim is sporting goods. Mr. Todd hooked us up. It took, you know, not too long. It's pretty fun. Uh, Jacob called him the goat. Uh, so, yeah. So, hopefully, within this video, you're able to see how, you know, how easy it is to just come up here, purchase a boat, get it set up. You can take a, a dumb old PE teacher like me, Mr. Todd, can fix anybody. If he can fix me, he can fix anybody. So yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. Help, sir. Enjoyed it. I will always go to Simmons for you guys to get archer stuff for the rest of my life. Mr. Todd, a great guy. He's the one that I was on the phone with like for two weeks. I would call, I was calling like every three or four days to see if they had my boat uh, in stock. Like I just thought maybe they'd forget about me or whatever. Uh, they ended up calling me as soon as it came in got there this morning he walked me through everything which as soon as he figured out how dumb I am to archery I think he then was like hey I'm gonna help this guy out <laughs> but he walked me through everything uh, without making me feel like it was my first time or I knew nothing about archery so that's always cool and the main reason we wanted to do or I wanted to do a video about this was that to show people how easy it is uh, to get into the sport of archery or just to get into hunting like there's gonna be those guys out there that uh, may not be the most open or uh, helpful to new people but then for every you know, one of those there's 10 mr. Todd's <laughs> and uh, anyways it was a huge help I'm coming to Simmons from now on for archery stuff I get a free tune-up with my bow excited about that so I think I'll come here in the spring